Okay, so uh, so uh, this is Jono, I'm the CEO and, and founder of Hubly, and I'm here with Laura McDonald from Fredericton, Montessori. And um, and uh, so uh, um, so Laura's been uh, working with Hubly, and uh, and and so so Laura, can I just ask, like, like how did we meet originally? What what brought us together? So our financial advisor noticed uh, your ads on Facebook and he thought it might be a good consideration for our school. Um, we're a new school, so this, we just finished our second year. And so we wanted to accumulate more um, response from the outside, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And so, so can you describe, uh, I guess, you know, the challenges you were dealing with, um, you know, that, that made you interested in looking for a solution to help? Absolutely. So um, the challenges that we were uh, seeing were that um, we needed to fill our classrooms, but our area is a little unique in the sense that we don't have private setting schools. So we're from Atlantic Canada. And so in New Brunswick, there's not a private kind of setting. Mm. Uh, so to get kids and parents invested in putting their child in something new, um, especially in conflict with our French immersion program, it was kind of hard to kind of convince them that we had something unique to offer. And so, so, so what was, uh, do you think that the, your, your main obstacle that would have prevented you from going with Hubly as, a, as an enrollment uh, marketing yeah, solution? Well, obviously, just as a startup school, it was the financial cost. Um, of, of, of doing that, but um, you know, you can't make money if you don't spend some money. So we understood that, you know, this was a crucial step in our growth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, and so, so, so what have you found as a result of, of, uh, of signing up with our, with our team? Well, we signed up pretty close to Christmas time. Um, and so we didn't really expect much of a response until after Christmas. So signing up at Christmas time, um, we thought, you know, maybe in January or February, something will hype up. Well, mm. over the Christmas break, I think we had uh, four people schedule tours. So we were really impressed with that and we were really excited about it. Um, uh, so starting in December and then when we came back in January, of course, the phone, it just started. Everything just started picking up. You know, it took a little while for me to get used to the system and how the mm -hmm. system worked on the internet and things like that. But after I got that, um, it just, everything ran so smoothly. Like I didn't have to print off like ridiculous amount of paper, you know, printing off like child profiles or this is what our, you know, uh, I didn't have to send emails with what our um, handbook looked like or anything like that. It was all in one spot and parents could go into that and kind of just go through at their own pace of how they wanted to register, but also the option of having um, those registrations happen right online for tours and for inquiries and all those things. So even if someone wanted an inquiry, we were able to kind of do a like, you know, a format a statement that we would just send to kind of get the conversation rolling in. Nine times out of 10, they all came back with, okay, where do I go from here? Like, how do I, you know, do the next step of having a tour? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's great. So, so what specific feature did you like the most uh, about, uh, I mean, or do you like the most about, you know, either our, our, our layer, our level of services or the actual yeah. components of our platform? Well, no offense to you, Jono, but Naomi is incredible. Uh -huh. I, you know, I'm able to tune in with her anytime. She's very responsive to my emails. No question is a dumb question. She really wants to help. And that really comes across as her motive. She wants mm -hmm. the best experience for you. She wants you to do well. She wants you to succeed. And any way she can help and suggestions that she can make, she really um, invests in your school. That's that's great to hear. Naomi is certainly uh, a rock star. And back to the other question, um, you asked how it's helped. Um, when we first started, we had eleven students, and so by the end of the school year, we had seventeen students. So four to five of those came from directly from using your service. But last year, 
um, we had, I think, 27 before Christmas. And by after Christmas, we ended the year with 32. Mm -hmm. So that's excellent. And then next year we have 50. So our growth is almost like, it's just doubling. Like it's just, it really surprises me how quickly, once the word is out there, once the positive um, message is sent of what we can offer, um, the sky's the limit. And now we have a whole bunch of other problems that I know you can't help us with, with, you know, space and things like that. But um, as far as getting the students into the school, it's bar none. It's, it was an excellent decision. Yeah. That's, that's, that's great. That's, you know, that's uh, what makes my heart pump every morning. That's, you know, that's why we get up and do this. Um, can you think of three other benefits um, of, of working with, uh, with, uh, with our team and, and our enrollment marketing solution? I like it when you call, you're talking to someone that knows what they're talking about. So they have some kind of knowledge about Montessori where it's not just like, oh, well, you know, we can do A, B, and C. Well, A, B, and C doesn't work for Montessori. Let's try D, E, and F. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I like it that your, uh, your staff there is not only skilled in, obviously, the marketing and all that kind of stuff, but they also know what they're marketing. Because some mm -hmm. people just don't. They just, the main goal is to sell. Right. Um, what else do I like? I love the online use. I love the uh, program. I love the portal. Um, that you send your clients to and stuff like that. They seem to have a really positive response from that as well. Um, and I like that it takes less time. So it's not me racking my brain to try to figure out what's the best solution when you really don't know and you put it into somebody else's hands who obviously know what they're doing, right? So mm -hmm. that kind of answer your question? <laughs> yeah, no, th those are, you know, listen, uh, th th first of all, there's no right answer there because this is just your experience, but um, those are great answers. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, every, every single one of those answers just makes me feel like uh, we're on the right track and, and we're, you know, helping our, you know, helping our, uh, our customers with the, you know, with the challenges that we're trying to help with. So everything you just, li you know, listed off is really exactly what we're trying to do for you and all of our other customers. So that's, that's wonderful to hear. Um, so, so, uh, so would, would you recommend this? Uh, would you recommend us to other schools? And, and if I can, and, and if so, why would you do that? I absolutely have already recommended you to tons of schools. Um, yeah. I think that there's some kind of, um, I don't know if it's a lack of knowledge or maybe a lack of common sense sometimes. I'm not really sure, but sometimes people are calling and saying, will this make the difference? And I'm, I said, this will help with the marketing part. I said, but you've got to be confident that you have an excellent school to sell. So yes, it gets them in the door, but he's not, he doesn't wave a magic wand and just fill your school. I mean, if it was that easy, I'd pay him twice as much as what I'm doing <laughs> for him to do that. But we're working on it. <laughs> you'll get them where they need to go. And I said, I, that's the important part. Once they get to the foot of your door, they don't know who Jono, Jono is. They don't know what Hubley is. They don't know what whatever is. I said, what they know is that they have a child that they care immensely about, that they want them to have a good education. So, yes, you, what you do for our school, bar none. I couldn't do it. Obviously, I couldn't do it because I, I, I looked for help. So, I could not do it. But when they get into the school, I can sell it because... Our school is phenomenal mm -hmm. and we are unique and we are something different for the area. So I know I can sell my school, but it's getting them in the door that I couldn't do because I'm not eight people. Right. So even though yeah. I think I'm them, but um, I, I'm not, I can't put that hat on for everything. So yeah. yes, I depend on you to do something for me and then I can in turn take what you give me and put it pot to a positive way. So I think that that's one thing that people, misunderstand sometimes is that your job is not to enroll the students your job is to get those parents to know about your school and to invest in at least a tour or at least right. a so you know in a way i you know i i guess not feel bad for you but in a way i feel like you know sometimes it's misunderstood what you're doing which is perfect common sense. It's nothing that you're doing wrong to advertise it. But I think that, you know, sometimes schools are so panicky about, I need students, I need students, that they don't realize that 
it's up to you to get the students. You can get them to the door, but it's up to you to make those students want to come. So, yeah, and, and we rely on, on you know, um, on the fact that actually Montessori schools and, uh, and not just Montessori schools, but great, any great school generally sells itself. And part of that is uh, just, just like you said, you know, you, you've got a great school and it's unique and you're passionate about what you do. And that's what, you know, these parents connect with. And that's, that's how they're sold, so to speak, without being sold to, right? Uh, and and so schools that have a great passionate leader and a great environment um, generally have a very high success rate once the the right parents come in the door, and that's but that's that 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 part of getting the right parents in the door. Do yeah, that that's that's the big sort of gap in the knowledge that people that are running schools usually don't have the opportunity to learn before because usually they're focused on being educators, which of course is what everybody wants, right? That my kids go to a great school with wonderful educators and that's what I'm looking for. I would rather them be, uh, you know, better educators and not so good at marketing, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. So, and that's obviously you can only do so much, just like uh, I, I always say to people, I would laugh personally, I would last about maybe a half an hour uh, in a room full of toddlers. Um, uh, I could be with mine all day, but other people's and, and just trying to, you know, be, you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it would be, uh, I don't think it would be a productive learning environment for many people, <laughs> me included. So um, we all have our strengths and our areas of focus. So, you know, we love the opportunity to do what we love to do. And then we partner with, with you to, uh, try to you know partner in the outcomes that that we as a company believe are the most critical in the world, which is educating children in the best way possible. Because what's be what's more important than that? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so that's obviously why 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 we, why we do this. So um, listen, I mean, I really appreciate you taking the time to answer all these questions. Um, it warms my heart to hear uh, that that we're 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 helping you. Uh, solve these these challenges um, that we are, you know, dedicated to solving. And uh, and I just want to know: is there, is there anything else you'd like to add to, to to what we've talked about? No, I just think that you know you guys really do dedicate yourself to doing that portion, doing that marketing that we can't do or we don't have the you know the the skill set to do. So just by you doing that portion, you're allowing us to do what we do best, which is, you know, have those parents trust in us to lead their children every day. So I really appreciate everything you've done for our business because it absolutely has helped it grow. Um, and it's continuing to grow. Like my wait list is abundant now and it's just, we, we had the opportunity this uh, summer because of so much, um, so much, um, what am I looking for? What word? Uh, so much interest that we we are opening up a three and four year old uh, program for for this year. So Yay. we're doing the three four five, which is the typical CASA class. So uh, we at first only had the kindergartners because they were always always had the other stuff available around. But we've had enough interest of people that want to continue on into the elementary portion that we said okay. And so next August we're tearing down a couple of walls in a new facility and. We're going to have a three, four, and five-year-old program. So that's happening. And also our upper elementary classroom is also opening in the fall as well. So we have enough to have a full upper elementary class now. So it's because of you guys that have allowed us to sell our school and, and, and you know, make a real go of it. And it's, it's awesome. I, I can't wow. imagine where we would be now if we hadn't interested in you guys for the marketing portion. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, you couldn't have uh, started my day off any better um, to hear all this stuff. And I can't tell you how much we appreciate you uh, giving us your faith, you know, at the beginning of this relationship. And every, everything you just said, I remember from our first conversation that, that those were your goals Absolutely. to get to. And, uh, you know, it's, like I said, this is, this is what we're all about. And, um, and uh, yeah, so thank you so much for, for sharing your, you know, your experiences. 
and uh, and just you know keep on doing what you do 